Hey everybody, I'm Bacon Ninja, and if you're like me, you probably got one of these recently. This is the HD0 Freestyle 1 Watt VTX to go with their HD0 SharkBite system. And there's one new thing about this VTX that you need to know. It's that it doesn't come unlocked for 1 Watt out of the box. So today, I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're just going to jump straight into this procedure. It is not overly complicated, but it's not that simple either. And until you do it, you're not going to get a full 1 watt out of your new VTX. So some things to consider before we start here is that you're going to need to find a source of airflow to do the flashing near for the VTX. It does get warm while it's powered on. In my case, I'm going to use a USB fan to just blow over it. That's plenty good enough. Another consideration is to make sure you have a decent SD card for your VRX module. It cannot exceed 32 gigabytes, and I recommend a class three because you will be writing DVR to it at some point as well. But it is an absolute requirement to have an SD card to flash all of these devices. So the process is gonna look like we're gonna flash the VRX first, then we're going to unlock the VTX, and then we're going to flash the VTX. If you do them out of order, it will not work. And just another side note, in the HD0 world of firmware, your VRX and your VTX must have matching firmware or things will not work correctly. So don't think you can just go flash your VTX that you just got without flashing your VRX module. You need to perform the entire procedure in order to get the full one watt and have things work together like your VRX and VTX. All right, so the first step in this process is to go ahead and prepare the SD card for the flashing procedure. And the best way to do that is just go ahead and format it inside of the VRX module itself. So power up your VRX with your SD card inserted, and let's go ahead and get to formatting. All right, so the VRX is powered up now. And what I'm gonna do is the little scroll wheel at the top of the VRX, I'm gonna hold all the way to the left, and it gets me out of my scan menu. I'm gonna do that one more time. And as you can see, we've popped open the main menu. And down here a little ways, I'm gonna scroll over to the right to go down to format SD card. And then I'm gonna click the scroll wheel. I'm gonna click the scroll wheel to say yes again. Now, it is gonna remind you that all of your, your DVR footage or anything else that was on the SD card is now gone. So make sure you get your DVR footage off before you do this. But now our SD card is formatted and ready to go and we can power off the VRX. Now that we have the SD card formatted in our VRX, we're just gonna pop it on out and take it over to the computer, and I will show you the first step in getting your VRX flashed with the appropriate firmware to use with the Freestyle VTX. Now that we're over the computer, the first thing we're gonna do is go to HD0's download section. Here is a link in the browser window above, and I will link this in the description of the video as well so it's easy for you to get to. And once we're here, we're gonna scroll down to the firmware section of the page. And the thing we're after is the most recent version of firmware. And you can see it is this version here, 26012022. And its remark is adding Freestyle VTX. So any revision, this one and above, will have support for the Freestyle VTX. And we're gonna wanna download this zip file from this link. The zip file will contain firmware for all of the VTXs and the VRX. But that's okay, we'll take care of that in a second. Just download the zip file wherever you would like. And I've previously done that to right here. Open up the zip file, oop, I'm in the wrong one. Open up the zip file, and you will see a bunch of different zip files inside of it. Inside of the zip file, we're going to select the RX 5.1 zip file and the Freestyle VTX zip file, and we're going to copy them. And then we're gonna go wherever we wanna use them at and paste them. Now, I'm not going to because I've already done that previously. The first step here is flashing the VRX. So we're gonna go inside of the RX 5.1 zip file, and then we're going to make sure that we have our SD card open as well. And for me, I like it on the left here and the right. We're going to select all of the files inside of the RX 5.1 rev file and drag them directly onto the root of the SD card. You'll see they all populate there appropriately. Now, rather than just yank the SD card out of the computer, we're gonna make sure we properly eject it, that way we don't corrupt the data. And now that it's safe to remove, we're gonna take it and use it to flash. And to do that, we just insert the SD card back into the VRX module and power it up. 
Once the module powers up, it's immediately gonna detect that the files are there and start writing the firmware to the VRX. It's gonna write Sharkbyte, it's gonna write another file, it's gonna take a little while, approximately 10 minutes or so. So be patient, and when it's done, it will tell you that it has finished and to reboot the VRX. We're gonna come back whenever that happens. All right, once you see this screen that says firmware update successfully, which should just say firmware update successful, that's incorrect, uh, it's time to power down the VRX and we'll move to the next step. And that next step is unlocking your Freestyle VTX. Now, that didn't come in the firmware we've already downloaded, but it is in a different page of the downloads, so go ahead and pop out your SD card from your VRX, take it back to your computer, and we'll get that loaded up to do the unlock. And for this unlock procedure, again, we're in the download section of the HG0 webpage, and we're gonna scroll past firmware to utilities. And you'll see there's an unlock freestyle line in the utilities, and you need a ham radio license to do this. So just be cautious and abide all of the regulations in your area of operation. But let's go ahead and get the unlock file. You just click on this unlock freestyle.zip and download it where you would like. Again, I have already pre-downloaded unlock freestyle. Inside of it is just one file. We'll go to our SD card and you'll see that most of the files we put in last time are now gone. So it deletes it after we flashed, which is, is good. Now all we have to do is drag this in the unlock freestyle over to the SD card, let it copy, eject our SD card one more time, and take it back to our VRX. Now there is a little more setup in this step because we're gonna have to interact with the VTX it's gonna get hot, and there's some considerations there. I'll go over them with you as we set this up, but for now, I'm going to insert my SD card into the VRX module, and then you are also going to need your handy-dandy HG0 connection cable between your VRX and the VTX, which I'll show you how I have set up. And for this, I have found that having the VTX inside the quad, which it is inside of my Manta here, is the best way to go, because for flashing HD0, you do not have to power the, VR, the VTX with a battery while you flash it. It will be powered over the connector cable. But you do need to have a camera connected as well as an antenna because the VTX will be running during the process. And also, now is the time that we're going to start using our cooling fan because the VTX could get hot. So the first step is plug in the cable. And for this VTX, that's going to mean pins down, I believe. It is. So I plug the cable into the programming port, pins down on the Freestyle VTX, and then I'm going to take my VRX and find my programming port on it as well. And I believe it's pins to the back on the VRX, and it is. So I have my programming port plugged in, my VTX plugged in, and now I'm going to get my handy-dandy USB fan out and kick it on because it is the time to start cooling this thing. Now all you need to do is power on the VRX and it will do its thing and flash. And it will be very quick for the unlock, so don't wait around too long. It'll be done very fast. And that's all the time it takes. Firmware update successfully. Again, it should say successful. And our VTX is now unlocked and one watt is compatible at this point. Now we just need to flash the VTX with the appropriate firmware to match our VRX module and give it a shot. So we're gonna start by disconnecting power to the VRX and now disconnecting the program port because you did have it attached and taking out our SD card one final time to go get the firmware prepared for it. For this step, we don't need to go back to the download site because we downloaded all of the firmware earlier in this rev zip file. And one of the things we copied out along with the RX 5.1 was the Freestyle VTX. So we're gonna open this zip file and inside is just one file. We're gonna take that file and drop it again into the root of our SD card. And we're going to make sure we properly eject our SD card and move on to the next step. And this step is the last step as far as flashing goes. Put your SD card back in your VRX module, plug your VRX module back into the cable connecting it to the VTX. Make sure you turn your fan on again because it's about to get warm. This flash takes a little bit longer. 
and it definitely will heat up. So it's very important that you have a fan on the VTX at this point, but we're gonna get that connected back to the quad and power this VRX up. Again, as soon as we power it up, it begins to write our HG0 underscore TX. I'm gonna reiterate here that it's important to have a fan on this. It may not take very long, but it's important because they heat up so quickly. So we're gonna let that go, write done, and now our VRX says that the VTX is successfully flashed. So now it's safe to disconnect the power from your VRX, turn off your fan, disconnect the VRX from the VTX, and make sure you store your configuration, your uh, firmware update cable by HD0 in a safe place, because they're making firmware all the time, and you will be flashing this thing pretty often if you want to keep up with features. You do not want to lose that cable. You can buy a replacement from HD0, but it's much easier if you just keep the one you have in a safe place. So I'm going to get all that done, and then we're going to power up the system to make sure that we get a video signal from our VTX to the VRX. To do that, I'm going to start by first powering up my VRX module, and then I'm going to plug a battery into the quad, which... Again, I recommended that you have the whole quad built before you do this flashing process. So the camera, the antenna, everything's ready to go. I'm just gonna plug the quad in and we should see video come up in our scan on the VRX. And there we go, we have video from the drone. Hello, hello drone. My video is a little squished because I'm using a, a weird configuration, but I'm, I don't know if to talk to the, to the drone. Should I talk to the drone or talk to the camera? But anyway, this proves that the system works after the flash. Now there is one other step, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and unplug this quad before I move on to that step. And the last step is that if you're using smart audio, you really need to go load a VTX table into Betaflight or else it's gonna be totally useless for you and it's not gonna know how to control the VRX, or the VTX, I mean. So let me show you how to load the VTX table provided by HD0 in the easiest way so you're not having to type it out or go get a config dump somewhere. And for that, we're gonna go ahead and plug our quad into our computer, and I will head over to the computer and show you how to get it done. This time we are gonna head back to the HD0 download site and under utilities where we got the unlock, there's also a VTX table.zip. So go ahead and download VTX table.zip, and wherever you save it, you're gonna to need to open it and then get the freestyle VTX. This is a JSON file. You wanna go ahead and copy the freestyle VTX file and paste it from in a place that you want to use it. Uh, we also need to open up Betaflight Configurator, get our drone connected to Betaflight, and then once we have it connected to Betaflight, we need to go to Video Transmitter and go to Load From File down here in the bottom right. Now in Load From File, you go to the location where you have put your Freestyle VTX JSON file, you double click it, and it will load the VTX table into Betaflight for you. Then you just hit save, and then disconnect. So that's it, you're ready to go for a full one watt of power on your new Freestyle VTX. Smart audio should work with the VTX table you loaded. Go enjoy it, have fun. I've been having fun with mine, I really like it so far. In fact, I've got two of them at this point. So I'm gonna make a whole other build just to fit around the Freestyle VTX and have a little bit more fun. If this video has been helpful, go down below the video, give it a like, and if you feel like it, give me a follow. I have almost 700 subscribers at this point. I'm thankful for every one of them. I really hope that I've been able to help some of them out, and even people that aren't subscribed, I hope this has helped you as well. Uh, if the, in the comments section, if you wouldn't mind leaving me a comment about other HD0 things you would like to see on the channel, I would love to make some of those for you. I really think it's an interesting product line. I, uh, I really wanna get deeply involved with it. So let me know of things that you might wanna see in relation to HD0 specifically, and I will put them on my list of things to produce. But in the meantime, enjoy flying and I'll catch you later.